Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, the 40S videos. This one we're going to look at uh, continue with 4.2 and I'm just going to do a review of special triangles. Now here, uh, this is showing you the textbook pages from grade 11, uh, special triangles. This shows the proof here with the 45 degree triangle right here. And um, it also talks about exact values, just to remind you that exact values are fractions and they're not decimals. Now, if I scroll down, it shows you the proof of the 30, 60, 90 triangle that's down here. So let's have a look at our notes and do this same question. All right, so uh, let's get into full screen so you can see it. All right, so this is what the notes looks like. We've got the 45 degree, 45 degree, and 90 triangle here. Now, why don't we let each side length equal one? So you can imagine that it was a square and each length was one and we just cut it in half. And this is what we end up getting. So when we do this, we get that this length here is the square root of two. Now you can prove that to yourself using Pythagorean's theorem here and work through it, uh, but I just want to run through this pretty quickly. So here for sine of 45 degrees, if I choose this as my angle that I, my important angle at this moment, this is my opposite, this is my hypotenuse, this is my adjacent, I can fill this in so that it's opposite, which is one over root two hypotenuse adjacent over hypotenuse is going to be 1 over root 2 and tan is going to be opposite over adjacent which is 1 over 1. All right so why don't we rationalize and simplify everything so we'll rationalize this so that there is no uh, root 2 in the denominator so we get 2 root 2 sorry 2 over root 2 and this reduces to a 1. All right so these are the exact values that we are going to be using uh, for our answers. Now over here with this 30, 60, 90 triangle, we're going to start with an equilateral triangle that has side lengths of two. So this is our equilateral triangle. All angles are 60 degrees. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut it in two equal pieces. So if we cut it straight down the middle, that means this side is now one and we've got our 90 degree right there. So this is no longer two, this is one and one. Oh, you can hear my son thumping across the house. Okay, so that's one and two. This is my 90, this is my 60 on this triangle over here, and this is my 30 degrees. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing with Pythagoras and figure out that, well, one squared plus, let's call um, this my x because it's my unknown, so I'll call it x over here and my c is two, so that's gonna be two squared. Now I have one plus x squared equals four, and x squared is equal to uh, three, root both sides, I rooted it before I wrote it, sorry. And then x is equal to plus or minus the square root of three. Now I'm just gonna look at the positive side right now, and then the minus side comes in when we look at our unit circle, uh, depending on which quadrant we are. So for a sine of 30 degrees, that, then that means 30 degrees is in question. This is my opposite. This is my adjacent. This is my hypotenuse. I'm going to fill out my information, oh, cos of 30 degrees using that. So we get root 3 over 2. Tan of 30 degrees is 1 over root 3. I could write root 3 over 3. And then why don't you go ahead and have a look at uh, what sine of 60 degrees is, cos of 60 degrees is, and tan of 60 degrees is. Okay, so that's root 3 over 2, that is 1 over 2, and this is root 3 over 1, where we're just going to write it as root 3. Okay. So what I'd like to do now is show you a quick way that we could memorize this chart uh, and then we're going to apply that information to uh, the unit circle. All right, so 
we know that we've got we've got sine theta, cos theta, and tan theta. Okay, so I'm going to just draw lines across going like that. And then I'm going to enter in 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, uh, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees, but we can worry about that. Now, also, this is in degrees. Uh, why don't we write it in radians as well? So we'll write it in radians above here. Radians, 0 is going to be 0. This is going to be pi by 6, this is pi by 4, this is pi by 3, and this is pi by 2. Okay, so now this is where the magic starts, kids. So I'm going to just start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I'm going to square root everything. All right, now I'm going to divide everything by 2. And then I'm going to simplify anything that I can. So this is just going to be written in as 0. This is just going to be written in as 1 over 2. This is already rationalized to root 2 over 2. And you can double check this uh, with what we just did. And this is going to be 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. Okay. So now I'm going to take all of these numbers, and I'm just going to reverse them for cos. So for cos, I'm going to write 1 here. And then I'm going to write root 3 over 2 then root 2 over 2, the 1 half goes here, and the 0 goes here. Now, we also know that tan is equal to sine over cos theta. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take, for tan, I'm going to take this number, divide it by this number, and that's going to go here. So 0 over 1, that equals 0. 1 half over root 3 over 2, that equals 1 over root 3. You could also write it as root 3 over 3. Root 2 over 2 over root 2 over 2. This, well, it's the same thing over the same thing, so it's going to be 1. And then this is going to be root 3 over 1, uh, which you can just write as root 3. And this is going to be 1 over 0, which means it's undefined. All right, so there you go is a quick little way that you can memorize the chart. There's other ways that you can do it as well, uh, but we also need to use the cast rule if we are using this method to determine which quadrant uh, your angle is in and whether it's positive or negative.